side you have the Portuguese introducing a new religion and very much forcefully in the 17th century and on the other hand with the Portuguese coming another institution of ours, the Devadasi system, slowly fading into the background with all the ramifications it impact. These are uh, well brought out by uh, Chandran in his book. He discusses history, geography, everything. Uh, perhaps if I were to meet him earlier, I would have discussed with him things. Uh, in many ways, uh, for us historians, we are always told that uh, the ideas of the present should not be imposed uh, in a historical work, but I don't think so. Uh, literary people have uh, anything of that type and therefore he talks of roads in the 17th century when they may not have been there. And, and uh, the preferred mode of transport was uh, uh, by the boat uh, from one side, Tari Mama and uh, the Degni, that is how it is uh, very popular at that time. Another thought which is there and uh, is about Kanyuwal. And uh, when we know that uh, Kanyuwal is full of enjoyment and amusement and all those things, he uh, talks of Kanyuwal in a completely different fashion. It is possible, it is probable that um, violence and uh, all those things uh, at that point of time because enjoyment for whom today uh, during carnival I enjoy and I presume that others also enjoy and we all enjoy but uh, not at all points of history uh, amusement was like this. What was amusement for uh, one section uh, for others it may not be and he is portraying carnival uh, in a manner uh, whereby it is amusement for the colonizers but uh, a kind of terror activities are uh, carried out and uh, people are uh, made to suffer, the indigenous people. So for the colonizers, and the colonizers introduced carnival, so they might have been getting amusement in that particular fashion, I really do not know. It is up to the audience to read and work. Actually, I contacted some of my friends in Goa because I have written a novel uh, on the history of uh, Goa during the 16th century and we planned to release that book in Goa with the help of this Malayali association. Later when I, we came here to invite Damodar Mauzo and uh, uh, Prabhakar Timbal and uh, he told that uh, this is, that is not the proper place to release the book but the Goa, uh, Goa Arts and Literary Festival will be here, which is going to happen here and uh, that will be the nice place to release such a book regarding Goa. So we contacted these people and uh, they told that uh, it, they are willing to release the book. That's why I came here. So I started developing an idea, uh, writing about English book. The same, uh, so I, uh, while I was working as a professional in uh, that marketing company, I started roaming around Goa. And, uh, the very first day I stepped into Goa, I felt that this city, these places, it was around 1993, something like that. During that time, I felt that I came to a place where I once lived. I felt these characters are within me once I lived here. It is my own experience. That's why it came like that. So uh, there is one experience uh, that I have to reveal it now is during 1993, we were running on a poultry shop in somewhere in Shiroda along with my friend and partner, uh, Mr. Mohammed. And it is somewhere in a remote village after this one, Shiroda. I was staying there alone in a night. I was thinking about the Mira Mangeshkar only. I was writing that manuscript. One day after midnight, the whole building started shivering and the folds in the forest started crying in the midnight. I was totally feared and uh, I, I couldn't express myself what is going to happen. So that morning, I, I have to wait till morning to tell someone else something has happened. So morning when I rode my bike to the uh, hotel, Janta Hotel in Madkaon, that I saw in the newspaper that uh, in Latur there was a big earthquake has taken place. So I was so frightened 
And that experience prompted me to write the isolation of a character in this one. From those days, I have been writing all these things, and I, I will read the first chapter, first uh, beginning of this uh, book to you. Know. Chapter one. Uh, please forgive me if my accent is somewhat different from that what you expect. A well kind, indisputably, it shook the serene sky over the landscape of Goa. Its rarefied vibrations began to resonate in the fascinatingly silent and cool air. Hearing it, Surya Shirodkar, a young, well-built runaway working in a warehouse in Margao, was shot and the jute gunny bag he was about to lift slipped out of his grip. Yeah, it is the story of a Devadasi who lived uh, during 16th century in Goa. And um, it tells her story when the whole community started escaping from Goa in fear of the threat of compulsory conversion during that Portuguese invasion. When he says that his English is not good, huh? <laughs> you uh, go through the book, you won't believe. And as he says, uh, one nice thing about, uh, I also, I think people can hear. One very good thing is, as he is saying that one night, that earthquake when it happened, the fear, the fear and he has expressed. The book is uh, full of emotions. Not just fear. Fear is one dominating. I do not know how. Is a very dominating. But other emotions are also well portrayed in the book. I think the Malayalam person might have already sold out 80% of that uh, run out from the press since last three months. <laughs>